Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, 1111 Butterfly Effect, where transformation happens and knowledge is power. Thank you all for joining Spirit and I here at the table for our weekly Twin Flame Connection Oracle message. Yes, a weekly Twin Flame Connection Oracle message. That's for both the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine on this Twin Flame journey. This is your weekly Twin Flame Oracle message. And today we are going to use the new deck, the Quantum Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. A beautiful deck indeed, and uh, the messages are quite apropos for the current times on this journey. Anyway, thank you all for joining my Divine Spirit and I here at the table. And we invite you and the Quantum Oracle to stick around and check out this weekly Twin Flame Connection Oracle message. For November 18th through the 22nd, 23rd, however many days we get in there. But uh, starting today, a weekly Twin Flame Connection Oracle message for November 18th through the 23rd of November. And... Real quick, just for good energy, let's pull out a Zodiac Rune for some additional energy boosts. And since we are still in the sign of Scorpio, we're going to pull out a Scorpio Rune. And we're about to go into the sign of Sagittarius, so... We're pulling out a Sag rune. So to continue, please, my divine spirit and the quantum oracle, please offer us a weekly twin flame connection oracle message for the week of November 18th through November 23rd, 2019. For those of us on this Twin Flame journey, Divine Feminine and Divine, Divine Masculine are looking for a little insight, a little focus, a little motivation, a little help, a little hope for this week ahead, November 18th through November 23rd, 2019. God, I just love how these cards shuffle. I mean, they just shuffle like they're shuffling themselves and again they let you know when it's time to stop shuffling and the artwork is really truly just amazing see they're starting to get a little clogged up we're getting close to our moment of reading here So for our weekly Twin Flame Connection Oracle message, we ask that you join my Divine Spirit and I and the Quantum Oracle here at the table for the message of this week ahead, some focus, some motivation, some hope. One more, one more shuffle. Okay. We're gonna do a seven card cross. Okay, nice. 
First card, Kindred Partnerships. People. So, this card represents the long ago past. This one is the not so far ago past. And that's what we're going to cover first, is what's been happening in the past with us on this Twin Flame journey. If this resonates with you, it does. If it doesn't, don't make it fit. It's not your reading. It's not your message. Move on. So, for now, let's read what this message has to say. This is all about coupling. A couple dances on a beautiful beach, indicating that a potential union awaits you, either now or in the not-so-distant future. This card portends a new relationship of some kind or a deepening, caring connection. There's a sharing of mind and heart here. The upcoming partnership is likely to be a romantic one, bringing tender-hearted feelings your way. In the manifest... It may manifest either as a deeper commitment in a present romance or as a brand new love appearing in your life. This could also manifest as a work partnership, probably in a business you feel passionate about. There could also be a legal agreement of some kind. Whatever form this energy takes, the wonderful resonance of support and care will be expanding in your life. I open my heart and my life to the loving connections coming my way. I deserve to love and be loved. That's a great affirmation. Let me say it again. I open my heart and my life to the loving connections coming my way. I deserve to love and be loved. Beautiful. Hmm? Lots of water and calm, calm water. So that's emotions, the good kind. Stable foundation, not all mucked up and rough. Okay, there's a rainbow in the background. See that? And these hot air balloons, you know, travel. Somebody traveling, traveling to somebody, somebody's traveling to you. Hmm. Lighthouse. So the light is directing the situation. Very nice. Hidden motivations. Next card. Hmm. Intentions. In the recent past, a smiling woman stands with her hands held over her heart center. Below is an image of children playing in front of a beautiful home, a vision of her deepest desires, yet something is hidden behind the heavy drapes around her. On a purely practical level, this could indicate an important decision or situation that you don't have all the information about. Be patient. The knowledge will come and you will be able to act and make a decision. Right? Be patient. Hey. The 
This card can hold a more deeply personal meaning too. Like this woman, you have some high ideals and lofty goals in mind, yet there are hidden thoughts and issues that are behind the image you present to the world. This card is telling you to look within for any unknown motivations that may be influencing your energy and your plans. Perhaps you're looking for love, yet because the past hurts, you've shut down to protect yourself. Or you may want more money, yet you doubt yourself and expect to fail. Or even think you don't deserve abundance. Know that your conflicting intentions, even if they are well hidden, are a powerful force in the manifestation of your dreams. Okay? If you want something, but your thoughts are conflicting it, like are the opposite of what you want, it's, it's, it's conflicting. It's not going to manifest what you want. <clears throat> the pull of emotional history rides with those intentions, making them even stronger than the desires you have in mind. It's time to clear out those conflicting, limiting thoughts. This card reminds you the universe is abundant and you are deserving and capable of making your dreams come true. Stop kidding yourself and accept and allow what's happening so you can move forward and get out of this circle that you're in. Okay? Get back to this happiness that you want. That there once was. This happiness. Right? Let go of... Let go... I let go of doubt and limitation. I have the power to achieve all that I desire. Again, these two are saying the same thing. Right? Same thing. I open, I open my heart and my life to the loving connections coming my way. I deserve to love and be loved. Right? I let go of doubt and limitation. I have the power to achieve all that I desire. Huh? So, let's move forward. The action we need to take Hmm? This is either you or your partner or the current situation you're in. And the action is letting go. Right? Letting go. Hmm. Releasing attachment. Is our action here. A woman releases powerful dogs that have been dragging her along. These dogs have been pulling her in different directions and holding her back from the inviting options that she has longed to experience. In order to enter these enticing adventures, she is choosing to free herself from those old impediments. And you have the power to free yourself as well. From whatever is holding you down. There's something in your life that you are ready to let go of. It could be an old job, a location, or even a relationship that doesn't suit you anymore. And whether or not there's an, an external situation you need to release, there is likely to be an internal pattern that must be shed in order to achieve the happiness and the outcomes you desire. Look within. Are you plagued by a critical or worrisome thought pattern? An unhealthy or even addictive behavior? 
If so, you need to know that you are engaged in some major self-sabotaging energy. But this is a vibration you can change. It's time to muster up the discipline you need to let go. Free yourself from the inner and outer beasts that have been dragging you down and open your life to the unencumbered destiny that you deserve. These doors are shut for a reason, okay? There's really only one door that's open that Spirit is telling you to go for. But you're letting these dogs pull you around here. Control the situation. Say, no, come here. No, go this way. No, go that way. These guys are not in control. Take your power back, right? Let go. Release. Don't try and be led to where you're not supposed to go. There's only one door that Divine has open for you right now. Other opportunities are good opportunities, I'm not saying they're not. But they're not the right opportunities. It's written in the stars. Let go. And this is what's making it difficult to let go. And will be our challenge. Hmm? A man in mining is mining for gold. He has been panning and searching for quite some time. <laughs> Let me just have this card. But despite his diligent work, he has not found the treasure that is laying be beyond his reach. Get ready. The time of discovery is, op is opening up for you. Mm, Eureka, right? You're on the brink of discovery. Now that new ideas and new energy will help to bring forth a goal you've been working to, toward. Although there may be more painstaking work involved, this card is telling you that positive resolution is at hand. Keep your eyes and your mind open for you may actually stumble on an unexpected discovery or idea that brings great value to your life. Many options can lead you in exciting directions. You may be introduced to someone who resonates with your heart. A job offer may come your way, or you may come across a book, video, or spiritual practice that is helpful in your daily life or business. This is a very auspicious time. New ideas, information, and exciting new connections are vibrating all around you. A gold mine of discovery awaits. Okay. Doesn't seem like it's too hard of a challenge to just let go so that you can come across this and discover this or allow this great discovery to happen. Right? Wonderful new discoveries are waiting for us, for you, for me. I open myself to new ideas and great new results. Hmm? Three possibilities from the beginning to the end result. Courage, the sacred temple in reverse, and fear. What's going to win? Love versus fear. 
who's gonna win? Hmm? Who are you gonna let win? Right? Courage. Taking a risk, a man in armor holds a sword at his side, ready to enter a dark forest. This is a time of great personal strength for you. Whether you realize it or not, you're ready to take a risk and attempt a new adventure. If you've been thinking about taking a chance on something, now is the time to face it. Perhaps there's a challenge you'd like to meet or something you've been longing to express. It may be time to go public about an interest you've been pursuing, even if you feel hesitant at first. This card is telling you that the time is right. You are moving into an energetic cycle where you feel your strength more deeply. There's a core of power coming from your own eternal soul, and you can feel the boundless courage that always lies ready within your heart center. Breathe deeply and take the next step. Know that you can trust this core of inner strength to guide you in this exciting time. Yeah, huh, huh? Courage. King Arthur and Excalibur, huh? Right? Here's an affirmation. I have the courage and strength to navigate any situation. I affirm my power and I trust my own resourcefulness. Hmm. I'm going to switch lights. This one's not much better. Courage. Interesting. The sacred temple in reverse. The sacred temple reverse reveals a major question remaining. There is an important issue that is frustrating you or a life decision that you can't seem to make. You may already be in the throes of this perplexing situation or the chaos of uncertainty is coming your way. You are being pulled in many directions and want the sense of certainty before you take a stand. You may even be seeing dark corners all around you, questioning your options and feeling afraid to go in any direction. If this is the case in any area of your life, this card is telling you to calm down and take a breath. Huh? Ah. Everybody just Taylor Swift it, huh? <laughs> Y'all need to just calm down, right? Taylor Swift it, calm down, get it? Yes, take a deep breath. Reclaim your peace and your power by moving into your heart center and opening up to the unlimited guidance in your own sacred temple. Spend time... Spend some time connecting with the eternal identity that is your soul. When you do, the clouds of confusion will simply lift away and you'll be able to act with clarity. Uh-huh. Here's an affirmation. I open the Ak Ak Akashic records that vibrate all around me. The wisdom of eternity is mine to behold. I open up the Akashic records that vibrate all around me. The wisdom of eternity is mine to behold. I open up the Akashic records that vibrate all around me. The wisdom of eternity is mine to behold. Three times. Say it, anything. Do it three times. Right? Blessed be amen. That's okay. So if it's there, we all need these reminders, right? You know, to focus. 
Don't let uh, anybody steal our focus or our joy. And again, <laughs> energy and fear. Hmm. Let's see. Frightened woman looks down a ridge that drops sharply below her. Though in the distance is the peace and safety of her beautiful and stately home. This card indicates that a fearful attitude has overtaken you lately, and you can't seem to break away from the anxiety-filled view of things. This is either you or your significant other. There may, in fact, be something problematic in your daily life. If so, the issue has consumed you, and your worry has actually made you feel like you've lost your power completely. This is not the case. You do have the power to turn things around, and you certainly have the inner strength to choose a more optimistic and self-directed approach. This card could also indicate a strong pattern of self-imposed worry when there's really nothing to worry about. Overthinking things like, huh? Like the woman in the picture, all you have to do is look around to see the peace and beauty already in your life. You can work on letting things, these negative patterns go. Choose the energy and trust instead of fear. Choose the energy of trust instead of fear and know that you have the power to handle anything that may come your way. Your self-trust honors your soul's strength. Very nice. And the affirmation is, I release worry and choose trust. My peaceful choices expand the peace and power in my life. I release worry and choose trust. My peaceful choices. Choices expand the peace and power in my life. Right? Oh, let go of fear. Have courage. Right? If you have courage, you'll turn this around. Your sacred temple will step up to the plate and wipe out any fear you have. So, have courage. That's the message today for every twin in this journey. Have courage. You're on the brink of discovery. Right? Release those hidden motivations so that you can have this kindred partnership, this union. Hmm? Let it go, let it go. Right? Frozen 2 movie is awesome. It's coming out on my birthday. Figure that one out. That's it for our weekly Twin Flame Connection Oracle message. Yes, our weekly Twin Flame Oracle message has come through for us. I hope it resonated with you. If you like what you see in here, please hit that like button and Subscribe to my channel, 1111 Butterfly Effect, and show your support and help our, help our channel grow and spread the good news of this twin flame journey. Thank you again for joining my divine spirit and I here at the table and the Quantum Oracle for your great insight and message. Till next time, thank you again. I hope this... Uh, Offers you up something for the week of November 18th through the 23rd of 2019 on this 
weekly Twin Flame Connection Oracle message. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.